right, time for us to learn some proper English pronunciations. Let me bring in Willis, the webmaster, joining us live from Kisumu County. Willis, how are you this evening? I'm fine with Betty, and uh, how are you? I've watched you all through. Uh, by the way, how is it in Nairobi? Well, Nairobi is good. We, you know, we, we're doing fine, I must say. Um, but, so Willis, I have to ask you something. So you heard my guest thanker tonight, Calligraph Jones, talking about respect and not respect. I don't know from your yes. perspective, you know, he was talking about swag, you know, which is important for you know, a rapper. Betty... <laughs> <laughs> that word is swag. Anyway, you came up with it and today it was there in action. You know, sometimes what happens, languages evolve and there is what we call the versatility of language. Mm. Sometimes language can be used in, you know, uh, various ways. For instance, in entertainment, yeah. when we come to, you know, reading news, you would realize that to some extent it may not be very clear, but there is a class or viewers uh -huh. or a target audience uh -huh. who you know may understand what you're talking about right. it's like when we talk of uh, like uh, you know what we call the exciting accents and all that okay. you know they sound very good like now the hollywood the bollywood you know like the nigerian accent when they speak english yeah and you bring such a person maybe to read breaking news like the one you started with about the road accident mm. you may realize that to some extent a certain you know class over a category of the a category of uh, viewers may not be very much at home may not get it clearly yeah but language can be used in different ways entertainment fine okay. when we talk of you know uh, for a dj yeah. uh, for a rapper it's uh, fine it's but fine. when it comes now to using language or what we call the standard language we have to get it a bit different Correct. but i talked about the versatility. Versatility. Of All right, calligraph. You've heard that versatility. <laughs> All, right, Willis. All right, Willis. So I want us to get straight to uh, our board in the street. But before then, Willis, I've heard you saying extent and not extent. Uh, is that the way it's supposed yes, to be so pronounced? Yes, you say to the extent, extent. <laughs> but you can also say extent, extent okay. or extent. Okay. Okay, yes. I'm going to be saying extent, you know, we listen to when you're trying to sound like, you know, some bit of <laughs> clear English. All right, let's get straight to our word in the street, Willis, before we get it on the road. Reverend. 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 Referee. 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 Referee, 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 river, 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 Level, 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 ferry, 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 Oh, Willis, I mean, you have to forgive me. The words, that the, the pronunciations, I'm not even sure about the right pronunciations, but those ones were really hilarious, Willis. So let's talk about this word that means to daydream or to be deep in thought. Reverie, huh? I've heard that. Yes. Interesting. Hmm? Betty, I have always said that, you know, certain words which are in the English vocabulary can be very tricky. They may, you know, look simple, but... Some are very tricky when it comes to the acceptable or accurate pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Like this word, you say reverie, reverie, okay. reverie, Re reverie. Re yes. Reverie, there you go. Uh, yes. Moving on to another word, Willis. This one has the x or x, I'm not sure. So complexity, complexity. Uh, how do we go about that one? Oh, <laughs> Betty. You're reminding me about something. Mm -hmm. If you remember 
many people say university yeah. ZT. you know we don't say ZT. Uh. it's university diversity mm. adversity mm. we also say complexity okay. complexity we don't have what we call the voice sound z or gz you say complexity complex complexity not complexity okay willis i like that because for a long time you hear people saying adversity so it's adversity correct yes Huh. All right. Yeah, so, and you know, that one, mm. we may not blame them so much because in most cases, Betty, you may realize that what lands on our ears quite regularly may be inaccurate or wrong, but we end up thinking out of what we call conjecture, or sometimes you are not told which is which. Uh -huh. So you end up saying it the way you hear other people saying it. That's why we also talk about environment or your background, like now the educational background, or where you work, the way people pronounce some of these words. Wait, Willis, did you just say environment? That N is... Uh, environment. In environment. Environment. Wow, okay. S Interesting. I thought the N was silent. Environment. So it's not correct, obviously. Environ. Environment. Environ. Environment. Wow, okay. I'm really, thank yes, you for that. that. I mean, um, I've learned something there. Moving on to the next word. Uh, do we say sewerage, sewerage? How do we go about that one? Sewerage or sewerage? Oh, or? That one has uh, alternative pronunciations. In fact, two acceptable pronunciations. Right. You can say sewerage, uh -huh. sewerage, or sew. Siu or su, so sewerage or sewerage. Remember, you also say sewage or sewage. That is also acceptable. Okay, I'm dumbfounded. So it's su sewerage. Uh, but she, let me clarify something because I know why you are saying you are dumbfounded. When we talk about sewerage, yeah. we are talking about that system that carries, you know, uh, the, the, the water or, you know, yeah. the waste materials. Yeah. But yeah. when we so say sewage or sewage, when you say sew, we are okay. talking about sewage yes. or sewage that is now that water or right. the waste, you know, materials or products. Interesting, Willis. So you can actually say sewage. That's what I'll, I will be saying from now on. Sewage um, is allowed. That's exactly what I'll be saying. Sewage for a bit of swag <laughs> in there, Willis. Got it. But so got it. It's <laughs> sewage or sewage. Interesting. All right, Willis. You always give me words to use over the weekend. So I don't know if I'm, being, if I'm going to be using sewage to talk about anything, but just in case I need to say it. I know the correct pronunciation. Okay. Well, let's move on to the next word. We've been hearing this word, especially from us journ journalists or journalists. Electioneering, electioneering. Jo journalists. 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 So how do we say this one? Electioneering period, is that correct? Yes, you say electioneering, not nearing. Electioneering. 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 So don't say also, we also don't say auctioneer. You say auctioneer, electioneering. Electioneering. So does that mean that we say elections yes, and not elections? Oh, I can take uh, our dear viewers through that very fast. Yes. We say to elect, to elect. To elect. Then we have an election, election. <laughs> Then election. elective. So we have to know where the stress is, and we normally start with E. Elect, election, elective, electioneering. Hmm. Hey, Willis, this English is starting to sound scientific, I must say. Interesting. So it's electioneering <laughs> period. Okay, Willis, got it. All right, what yes, about... Betty, mm. <laughs> there you are. Okay, Willis, thank you for that. Electioneering, elections, elective position. Interesting. All right, let's move on to the next word. Robust, robust environment, uh, environment. <laughs> Let me correct myself there. So do you say robust or robust? 
Yes, you say robust. Robust. Okay. What we should avoid is robust. <laughs> I once had somebody, you know, addressing a very, very important or yeah. important function and the person ended up saying robust. Wow. I always say we don't blame such a person. Maybe that is what he or she yes. must have been hearing quite often or often and he ended up also saying robust. Robust. Okay. We say robust. 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 Got it, Willis. Got yes. it. I also like the way you say important. Important. Yeah? You don't even have to say important. Yes, you can say important, important. or important. All right. All right, Willis. Thank you for that. Moving on to another word. This one I also have trouble saying. Deodorant. Deodorant. Um, how do we go about that one, Willis? That Please is a help. simple one, Betty. It that is. That is a simple one. You just say deodorant. Just like deodorant. that. Deodorant. Just you like say that. D, then you follow it with what we call a primary stress. Primary or stress. Dio, deodorant. Deodorant. All right, Willis. I like the words that you used to explain, yes. like primary stress. Last week you used the front low vowel something. You remember? <laughs> that is the a, uh, a. Uh, like when you say uh, pat, pat. Pat. P A T, pat. Yeah. When you say cat. C A T cat, so it's cut. the a uh, front uh. low vowel sound a. Uh. But when front it is C U T, cut cut cut, it is the mid central vowel sound a. Uh, wow. Hey Willis, I love you. I, I love you for that. Let's move on to the next one, Willis. Moving, I'll spell this one out. R E A G E N T. Reagent, regent. I see this word so so many oh, times. You say reagent, oh. reagent, okay. reagent. It's a very popular word in our shows. Yeah. You say reagent, oh. so you don't say reagent. Okay. Reagent. All right, well, it's so embarrassing how wrong I was, but we're here to learn, so it's fine. It's okay, Willis. Re we are here reagent. To learn, and nobody is perfect. Okay, Willis. Okay, got it. Reagent. Reagent. Moving on to another word. Do we say I am privy to this information or I am privy to this information? Privy, maybe if I would also borrow your word tonight, mm -hmm. maybe that could be a swag. Swag. The way you put it. <laughs> But Betty, check the meaning of that word in the English vocabulary. We have S W A G, swag. Swag. But you say privy. 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 I'm um, privy, mm. or I'm privy to this and that. All right. I'm privy to this, not privy. Okay. Privy. Privy. As simple as that, Willis. Thank yes. you so much. Let's now move on to our feedback question. It comes from Abdul Mohammed of Mombasa. I'll spell this one out V A C U O. U.S. Vacuous. I beg your pardon, Betty. <laughs> V-A-C-U-O-U-S. Oh, you say vacuous. Okay. Vacuous. Vacuous. V-A-C-U-O-U-S. Yeah, vacuous. All right. Don't say vacuous. Okay. And this reminds us about uh, promiscuous. Mm. Promiscuous, not mm -hmm. promiscuous. Ambiguous, not mm. ambiguous. Ambiguous. Yes. Some of these words can be very tricky, Betty. Yes. Okay. Ambiguous. All right. Ambi okay. Ambiguity. Ambi vacuous, not ambiguity. vacuous. Ambiguity. Yeah. I, yeah. Will I remember the ambiguity? Ambiguity. Ambiguity. That was a tricky one the other day. Yeah. And uh, Betty, I can also see some coming in. Yeah. And uh, there's a word here, Betty. Nancy Mabanga and... I think this is uh, Lawyer Jack Omondi. Uh -huh. Bunde, you say avalanche. Avalanche. So avalanche. you don't say avalanche. Avalanche. You say avalanche. Not avalanche. avalanche. Not avalanche. Not avalanche. But in American English, there is also ch at the end of that word. You can say avalanche. That is if you prefer the American English. Okay. That word is avalanche. Avalanche. So avalanche. Jack Omondi and Nancy Mabanga. Nancy Mabanga is from Kampala. We are happy about Kampala, Betty, for that matter. Very now, good. Jeffrey Lutaya, you say relevant. Relevant. And we have also Mr. Ombati of NBK. Wait, I don't know whether it's National Bank. Oh, this must be NBK Kisi. Wait, yes, please. you've said I wait. Yeah. 
wait, are you talking about relevant, the word that we know as relevant? Yes, you say rarely. The second E takes what we call the short or pure vowel sound E, just like in the word it or enough. So you say relevant. You remember telephone, telephone, elephant, relevant. <laughs> Is that clicking for you now, Betty? That's a bit crazy for me, Willis. Relevant, you mean most of us have been saying that word wrong because we, I know it as relevant. So yes. it's relevant. How I always say, Betty, it happens. <laughs> you know, when you don't know something, sometimes, you know, it sounds like, in fact, science, the way sometimes you put it, or it would be like Gujarati. Yeah, so some of these things so. we were not told. Betty, in our education system, we are taught grammar very well. We are taught, you know, vocabulary very well that is when we are talking about the second or target languages but yeah. sometimes when it comes to phonology or pronunciation you know we end up you know using what we hear by way of imitation mm. but sometimes without knowing which is which but it's good to know sometimes right. relevant really? elephant telephone <laughs> telephone wow let me telephone you tomorrow. Yes. All right, Willis, got it. <laughs> We're running out of time. <laughs> this is so into telephone. Anyway, now the other people, we have Paris Adiambo. Yes, Willis, very quickly. Paris Adiambo even has a word here, which I know you may also say what? Mm. We say television. Television. Vision. No way. Not television. Television. We also have the word vision, not vision or vision. <laughs> Charles Wanderi. Harang, you say harang. Linux Odiambo, valuable, valuable. George Ombwak, you say deliberate. That is the adjective for intentional, deliberate. But to discuss something is to deliberate, rate, or you just say deliberate. So yeah. the difference is for the adjective, you say deliberate, rate. Mm -hmm. But for the verb, you say rate, deliberate, just like delegate, delegate the person, that is the noun. Okay. But to delegate, that is when you are talking of the verb, to delegate duties to some people. So right. you realize get and gate, hey. rate and rate. Zakina Mtawazo, okay. you say gasto, not gusto. Zakina Mtawazo of Kilifi, you say gasto. G U S T O Gasto. Ga not okay. Gusto. All right. Then Joroge. Joro. This is Fadi. You say matters. Ugandan matters. Not matires, not matters. <laughs> then the surprise word is ready, Betty. Matthias. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Interesting, but the one that matters. got me. Ugandan matters. Matters, not matires. Okay, Willis. So you said tele television. <laughs> That's a surprise, Willis, for me. I don't even know if you have television. any more. Television. That is the way you should pronounce it. Can you say it again, Betty? Television. Television. That is it. <laughs> television. Okay, Willis. Vision. Television. Yes. Okay, so yes. we have to practice. That is why we have what we call the oral drills, Betty, sometimes in certain schools. Certain. So it really helps All when right, you Willis. know the sounds in a language. Okay, Willis. Yes. Now, moving on to our go final to word. The surprise word for tonight. Yeah. Yes. Surprise word for tonight, uh, Betty, what we see is a such it. Such it. Somebody says, can I get the, the homo such it or the such it? But we say sachet. Sachet. Not such it. Okay. Sachet. Sachet. You say sachet. And I think this one, Alice Ahago of Bungoma and Charles Odongo of Donga Kisumu, they must be happy. I can see there's a word coming in. Betty, okay. can you allow me to tell you something? Very, very quickly, Willis. Um, very quickly. Given some flash, mm. they are saying Friday briefing is just as beautiful as the presenter. <laughs> anyway, I couldn't hide that. Well, thank it's you very much. It's not from me. So, okay, yeah, Silas and Mary Awino, that one has gone to Betty. Now, we have the confusing words. Yes. We have the verb live, to live in a place, uh -huh. to live somewhere. Don't say to live somewhere, to live, live, live somewhere. 
Then the same word, L-I-V-E, when it's an adjective, uh -huh. you say live, like live from Kisumu, okay. a live show. Broadcast. That is the adjective. Okay. So such words are known as heteronyms. But okay. when we come to the lower word, <laughs> Betty, L-E-A-V-E, -E, yeah. you say leave. 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 If I've not covered anything, All right. then I can be reached on Twitter. That is at Willis Ocheng one that is for accurate or acceptable pronunciation of english words All but right. you should remember that some words have more than one acceptable pronunciation Pronounce. or what we call acceptable approximations okay. commonly used by non-native speakers okay willis. You, <sighs> willis today's been a marathon of learning thank you so much for that <laughs> i'll always remember from when, the when to where we are Yes, 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 actually, for sure. So, <laughs> relevant. There's no... Probably this is one of the yes, most relevant, relevant uh, shows fact, on... Like PNC. Calligraph. You called him Calligraph? Calligraph he Jones. He's very relevant. Relevant. On what he does with the rapping. Okay. And is good in what... Or good at what he is doing, Betty. Oh, okay, he's heard that. He, and he says thank you. All right, so that has been Willis the Wordmaster. If you want to ask him more words, you know where to find him on Twitter at Willis.